I've been waiting all after all evening to hear that again. I was he, he kind of hit exactly what I had in my mind, so thank you, Matt. Every day 5 a.m. passes me by. While I am asleep, there is a world that I am completely detached from. When I began settling in for the evening, there are countless others getting themselves ready to start their day. From bakers and farmers to gas station attendants and factory line workers, we live in a world that never truly sleeps. Productivity and services continue to be provided while many of us are asleep and dreaming. When I wake up in the morning, I can, without a second thought, enjoy freshly made bread, produce picked hours earlier, or even a newly paved road. The 5 a.m. project developed out of, out of an interest to step outside of my nine to five world, to document places, people, and livelihoods as close to 5 a.m. as possible. The world may look very different when not congested with people, cars, but that does not mean we have all settled into sleep. Welcome to 5 a.m. Hi, my name is Matt Borland. Um, I was playing pedal steel guitar tonight. Um, and so as someone who's definitely not a morning person, 5 a.m. is a time of day when I'm usually tucked into bed very securely. Um, I did, however, have one summer in my youth when I would woke up at 4.30 every morning um, to get to my job at 5 a.m. At that time of day, the roads were empty. Um, the hidden soundscapes of our lives emerge uh, behind, from behind the noise of our daytime lives. And Brian's photographs, for me, captured that solitude, um, that calmness. Um, and I found myself listening for the ambient soundscapes uh, that were speaking through each photograph. Uh, 5 a.m. is a time that I also think of as a tipping point between day and night. Um, and I use that transition along with a collection of found sounds uh, to build out a remembered soundscape from that summer of my youth, driving to work on country roads, um, my personal 5 a.m. Thank you. Thank you.